Hi, I'm Arlie Hoskins, author of the Living a Blissful Life blog. Today, I want to talk to you about choosing to be present instead of choosing to be perfect. The pursuit of perfection can rob you of your happiness. Perfection can steal the joy you feel when you do the things you love. Too often, people feel like they can't show up unless they're perfect. So today, I want to teach you not only how to show up, but how to be happy doing so. To start, think about the things in your life that make you the happiest. The things that make you feel most like yourself. For me, that's writing and connecting with others. There are times where I feel like I can't write because I don't have the perfect words or where I feel like I can't invite people over because my apartment doesn't look perfect or my fridge isn't perfectly stocked. So how do I get over those insecurities to be fully present in my writing and connect with others? Well, here are three steps that I take to be fully present. Step one, schedule time. When you schedule time to do things you love, it forces you to do those things, even when you don't feel ready, even when you don't feel perfect. So step one is schedule time. Step two is to be fully present during that time. When I'm writing, I don't have my phone out, I'm not tweeting, I'm fully engaged in what I'm doing. The same is true for when I'm out with my friends. So step one is to schedule time for things you love. Step two is to be fully engaged in that time. Which brings us to step three. Step three is to hold on to the memories of those moments. As someone who suffers from bipolar depression, there are times where I don't feel like connecting. There are times where I don't feel like being present. There are times where I just don't feel like being anything at all. And in those moments, it's good for me to remember the things that make me happy. I'm able to remember those things if I've scheduled time for them and been fully present during that time. And so in remembering those moments, it forces me or provides the opportunity for me to start those three steps again. It reminds me of what makes me happy, and I schedule time for those things. And then I allow myself to be fully present during that time, and I hold on to those memories. I keep them in my back pocket and pull them out when I need them. Those are the three steps I take to choose being fully present instead of being perfect. I hope these steps help you as you prefer, pursue your own blissful life. And thanks again for visiting Healthy Place.